Good afternoon, guys. My name is Paul Christopher. I'm here with Mr. Dylan Foss. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Feeling good. Good, good. We'll have uh, Miss Patina, our guest uh, guest speaker here as well. Welcome to the second episode of Turf Talk Tuesdays. All right, today's topic: why the weight scale does not tell the whole story. So true. So true, without a doubt. Very good. So this machine to my right is a weight scale. All right. Guess what it measures? Wait for it. Weight. Nothing else. Weight is defined as your mass due to gravitational pull. So did you know that you weigh differently on the moon than you would on Earth? That's correct. So mass will always be constant, but your weight may change based upon the size of the planet you're standing on. But unfortunately also, the number on this machine does not tell you the full story of what's going on within your body composition, okay? Number two is your in-body machine here to my left. Dylan, let them know. So the in-body machine is definitely state-of-the-art. It's one of those gold standard type of machines that allows you to get way more in-depth than just your weight, all right? It can tell you everything from your muscle mass to your body fat percentage to your water weight and even your BMR. What does that stand for? So BMR stands for your basal metabolic rate. So if you sat in a chair or laid down and did nothing but breathe for 24 hours, it's going to give you the required calories for biological life for cell replication. Nothing more without factoring in a good workout, and traditional activities of daily life. So this machine can also measure that BMR. So the value of what you get information-wise on the in-body is exponentially greater than what you would get on the weight scale, which is why this does not tell you the whole, entire, or the accurate story about your body. Now there's definitely an emotional tie-in when it comes to seeing number on a weight. You wanna tell me about that? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people focus on the number, right? The mass, what you weigh, and they get really stuck to, I need to lose five pounds or I need to lose 10 pounds, but who says that we don't lose five pounds of water in a day? Absolutely, absolutely. So it's not telling you the metrics of any improvement of muscle composition or body fat composition, which is why we use this wonderful tool when it comes to new members coming in to show them their accurate data and also the trends and patterns of someone in a good way who's been with us for some time, all right? So what we'd like to do is right now, we'd like to be able to demonstrate live and in-body measurement right here. So we have our wonderful guest uh, measurement subject, Miss Patina, all right? One of our rock star instructors here. So Dylan's gonna come over with the camera. So the first step is going barefoot on the device, all right? She's cleaned her feet. She puts her heels on the metal lead. The first thing it is now going to do, Dylan, if you can scheme in without any kind of a, a zoom in without any kind of glare. It did take Patina's weight and now it's gonna ask for her ID. And her ID in our gym, anyone's gym in here, is your personal cell phone number. That is your ID. It keeps it all private wow, and anonymous. Very good. Damn. Right. Oh, it's changed your weight. There you go. So now it's entering your metrics, and it does factor into play with the results, your age, your gender, your height, and your body weight. So now it has all the metrics to create the template before it runs electricity signal through the body. It's important when we do this that there is no metallic um, necklaces, bracelets, or rings on so she's now lining up her feet. Dylan can zoom in on that. She's lining up her heels and her toes. Good. The next step is placing your thumbs on the leads and with straight elbows, arms off to the side where the arms are not touching the body, it can now accurately take her measurement. It does not last long. It's at 15, 20 seconds most. We and cue the elevator music. Go ahead, Dylan. There you go. I was going to say we cue the elevator oh, I music. I mean, you still your thunder <laughs> Very good. So now if you can zoom in, it's now doing the measurement right now overall of her weight. Okay, her skeletal muscle mass and her body fat composition. Okay. It is as simple as that. The test is complete. And now as Bettina steps off, it's going to print out well, tons of viable information. Very good. So we're going to show you that information now as it prints out. Cue the Jeopardy music. Bubs is saying that, uh, sorry. Here we go. There we go. Give me one second. Got to turn back on. Okay. So in terms of emotion, can you get a little more into how the emotion can can play a part when just looking at the weight and how we can differentiate someone being so tied to that a little bit more? Absolutely. So let's say um, a woman out there is trying to lose weight for making that wedding, that, that dress for the wedding she's going to in three weeks, right? So she now has a weight scale number, okay? And she's doing exercise, she's improved her diet, but she's also working out. And let's say her desire psychologically was to lose five pounds. And after two weeks of great eating and working out doing doing some resistance training, she only lost two pounds. Now she's thinking, I have not met my goal before I go to that wedding for that dress. 
But what if her body fat percentage had gone down two to three percent and her skeletal muscle mass had increased? So when it comes to a gross number, muscle mass went up, body fat went down, but it doesn't tell the story because she didn't lose the desired five pounds that she had emotionally ingrained in her mind. So that's why a measurement like this will better tell the story to ease your mind about worrying about the measurement of just weight. Mm -hmm. can we get, do we get stuck here? <laughs> Hold on, we're having uh, organic difficulties. Can try again? Okay. Should be all set. Okay. We're going to do a printout here again. So, Mr. Tino, I'm going to go here. So, you're seeing live in the flesh. These things happen, people. Good. It's all right. Okay, we're going to print out right now. Okay. Very good. The last test we just took was right here. And we're going to take this out. Left. Good. Okay. Good. All right. So, we're making great on time. We're trying to keep our turf talks to no more than 10 minutes to keep you attentive and stimulated. And we are only at six minutes. So, we're doing great. Hopefully, this number's going to come out. Here it comes. I hear it. <laughs> so we're going to show you on this. We're going to take you from the top to the bottom. Okay, very good. Awesome. I'm going to get a highlighter. Do you remember that, guys? You guys keep talking to the team and talk about what you've seen with clients. So a lot of my clients, when they see the number on the scale, it's the panic. Like, oh my God, it didn't go down. And then when they go through the numbers, then you see that muscle mass went up. So when muscle mass went up, that means that it had to have gone down so that you, have, you make room for the muscle mass to go up. And that's ideally what we want to look into. If you, I think it's Great. easier to see there. So. Okay, how are we doing? Tell me where I'm at with my hands. We're good? Good. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer. All right. There we are. So this device keeps all your information anonymous. Obviously, Bettina has voluntarily let us know who it is. So we once again are seeing the age and the, the gender. A we now have closer. a little closer. Okay. So now we have Bettina's weight, which is 118.7 pounds. If we subdivide this into three subsections, okay, here's her total body water in pounds. So she is roughly 70 pounds of her 119 is in water, which is a good number because she's greater than 55% of her overall uh, body content is in water. So we're going to call that a check mark. Now, if we took away all that water from our body and we're left with dry lean mass, cartilage, ligament, bone, and muscle, we have 25.1 pounds of dry lean mass. Her body fat mass is 23.9. So here's another aspect of the emotional number. Someone will see that weight in pounds and shriek and say, oh my God, I have 24 pounds of fat. News to self, every human needs reserve fuel. So don't worry, no human on earth is 0.0, .0 pounds. So it's important to understand that we all must possess body fat. It's just a matter of having excess quantities or not, okay? Back to our screen, how am I doing, doing I'm okay? We add those three subsections. 118.7, good. We are now going to confirm that number right here. Boy, I wish I had a clipboard right now. Okay, Mr. Tina, can you hold my, uh, my bottom, please? There we go, good. So now we reinfuse water back into Bettina with the muscle, and now we have 52.3 pounds of skeletal muscle mass. Her body fat mass in pounds, once again confirmed, right here is 23.9. Now what's important to look at is over here, let me make sure we're still on the screen. Muscle fat analysis. Compare the bar lengths of skeletal muscle mass and body fat mass, SMM and BFM. The longer the middle bar is compared to the bottom bar, the stronger the body is. So right now, looking at the number 24 for her body fat mass and the number 52, we can say that Bettina possesses a two to one ratio of muscle to body fat. And for a woman in her 40s, that is fantastic. That's where we wanna be at least 1.1. She's 2.1, which is a great number. And we have some women that can also be above that, okay? So Bettina sitting in the perfect ratio of muscle mass to body fat. BMI is simply a ratio of height to weight. So she's at 21.7. She would not be considered a risk factor for anything cardiovascularly. And BMI can be very inaccurate sometimes based upon solely height and weight. Now we look once again at her percentage of body fat, another important number. Bettina's at 20.1, which is absolutely optimal for a woman in her late 40s. She's considered in the ideal athletic percentage of 16 to 20%. Tina's not your trunk, left and right leg. These measurements are called segmental lean analysis. Evaluates whether the amount of muscle adequately distributed throughout your body compares to the ideal. Anything above 100% is considered excellent. 109, great. 112, 103, 101, and 106. 
So patina regionally in all her main prop, um, locations of her body, 100% or above, she is fit as a fiddle, okay? Once again, the numbers we measured before, your weight, your skeletal muscle mass, and your body fat percentage are reconfirmed here. Because Bettina has taken multiple tests in our machine, you can see her ebbs and flows. She's made a drastic change even since 2018, where she's now gone down 17 pounds gradually in an amazing way, but she's maintained her skeletal muscle mass, only going from 55 to 53, which is great because even with profound weight loss, there is some minor, minor muscle loss, but she has minimized the effects of muscle loss even though losing 17 pounds and she's lost 6% exactly body fat in two years. This woman right here without knowing her name has made incredible changes, okay? Now we take a look once again over here. Her lean body mass is 95 pounds over 119 and her basal metabolic rate, her minimum number of calories for daily survival is 1300. Factor in a great workout and activities daily life. Bettina is probably burning close to 2000 calories a day and we never want to go below 1300 calories per day. If you go below that, you're starving yourself and your body will react um, accordingly in a wrong way. So everything from this woman right here is showing great numbers, great ratio of muscle to body fat, great regional muscle in all areas. She's made amazing changes over two years, 17 pound weight loss with only two pounds of muscle loss, but has lost 6% of body fat. So these are all the amazing metrics that we can find using an in-body machine, way more than just a weight scale. If you are curious about your own composition, okay, we can provide complimentary this test for the in-body if you are interested here at Gravity and Oxygen. And also coming up in September, we have the Noble Challenge. Bettina, can you tell about Noble? So Noble Challenge is a 30-day challenge, four weeks only of your life, that is absolutely No sugar, no alcohol, and no no processed food. Processed food. <laughs> so since we know that eating is at least half the equation to getting to your path of wellness and fitness, no sugar, no alcohol, and no processed foods. We're gonna quarterback you for the full 30 days. We can pre-test you, we can post-test you. You can even do this virtually if you're staying shy from gyms at the current moment. All right, so we can assist you with the in-body test. We get you signed up for Noble as well. And if you have any further questions for us here at Gravity and Auction, reach us at 561-756-8637. You can reach us at our website and email us as well. On behalf of Dylan, Bettina, and the entire team at Gravity Auction, we wish you guys an amazing day. Stay fit, stay healthy, stay safe. Be tuned for next week's topic for Turf Talk Tuesdays. Absolutely. We'll see you Adios, next Tuesday. Guys.